Hey everybody and welcome to Shooting Gear Reviews, straight up guns and gear reviews. Today we have got the Gauntlet 2 and I've also got some H&N slugs and really ever since I heard about this second version of the Gauntlet and the rumors were that it was going to be more powerful, now that I've had it in my hands and gotten to do some testing, I have confirmed those suspicions and rumors and the claims by Umarex that yes, this is indeed more powerful than the Gauntlet 1. It also, of course, has a larger bottle, higher fill pressure, higher reg pressure, better looking, all around a more awesome air gun, in my opinion. If you think you want to know more about the Gauntlet, I'll put the link in the description below to the full review that I did on this guy. But today, we are going to head on down and we are going to shoot some H&N slugs. We're going to see, can this new Gauntlet handle some slugs? So, with no further ado, let's get it started. All right, so first up today are the 249 30 grains. Want to let you guys know a couple of things, and then I will let you go ahead and just watch this shooting and listen to the beautiful sound of the gauntlet. But thing number one is that I did test with the 250s, and it seemed to me like this barrel, at least in my gauntlet, preferred to use the 249s. Second thing I want to let you know is that I am not going to cut in between these shots because I want you to be able to see that I'm taking my time, letting that regulator stabilize, and really making sure that I'm on target for each one of these shots. Here we go. All right, let's head on down and check out how those groups turned out. First up, we've got the 249 30 grains. And as you can see, they did really pretty darn well. Didn't quite fit under the MOA marker, but still a very respectable group for 85 yards. Next, we're looking at the 249 28 grains. Those seemed like they spread out just a little bit more, but still a very good group for 85 yards. Alright, so for comparison's sake, I went ahead and shot a couple of groups with some JSB pellets. First up were the 25-3-9s, and those did fairly well. And then I also shot some 33-9-5s. Now the importance of these two groups is that they were shot under the same circumstances and conditions as the groups with the slugs. And you can really get a good idea here that the slugs are actually achieving 
just as good of accuracy, if not maybe a little bit better, at this range than the pellets are, and that's exactly what they should be doing. All right, well, there you have it. 85 yards, a G2, some H&N slugs, and some very respectable results. I'm pleased with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely hit that thumbs up button down there. Give me a like. Let me know that you're out there. And uh, that's it for today. I'm Ben. I'm outdoors having a whole lot of fun with my air guns. I hope that you guys are too. And I'll see you next time.